your own understanding. Truth under Babylon's imperialism. What up? I actually have to make a testimonial video. Um, testimony to to dreams. I'm going to testify that I do believe your dreams are your consciousness and what we have created in the physical realm here that we experience on the day to day is our subconscious so to speak but anyway the reason why I'm making a video about dream testimonials is because I, I have a lot of dreams that are very telling and I don't talk about them a lot but when I do uh, they seem to intrigue people including myself because of the type of dreams that they are I mean I went from like being stuck in a solid ground that turns into some sort of uh, thick liquid which I can't can't move things like that to being able to fly all around and do whatever I wanted to do so on all ends of this other spectrum I've even had nightmares you know what they call nightmares things that yeah I guess invoke fear but most of all most important a lot of the dreams that I do have are telling or they're saying things that I, I don't understand. So I really try to understand them or try to get information from them. And I had a few dreams recently that I really have to talk about. So, one in particular was a dream about the near future. I don't know if it was... I don't know how to reference the time in it. All I can say is um, it was in particular a almost political type of dream where there were individuals who we all know um, obviously the president now Donald Trump and other his, his vice president and just the, the landscape it wasn't it wasn't really a a functional dream when I say functional I mean line by line there is a path from beginning to end it was more more of, of a visual type of thing more like scenes as opposed to just a linear kind of story kind of dream and and all the scenes that I was seeing uh, kind of put me in the mind of what would to come what was to come and I saw I saw Trump in the new it was Trump in the new the feeling was of the new um, and you know there was more of a Republican feel and now this is strange as can be but It was referencing, I, I guess it was referencing our election. And Mr. Biden was not included. Like there was no Biden anywhere. And it made no sense. Maybe it didn't mean anything, but it was just all for... And I'm totally not partisan at all, like by any means, but it was more Trump forward. And it had, when the the other side of it was referenced, I guess in the, in the visions or in the, uh, the visuals, there was no Biden. And when I try to make sense of it, like, Trying to make sense of a dream kind of makes no sense, but does it? 
there was no Biden there. Now, I've made videos before in regard to this subject, and maybe that's what it was. Maybe something in the back of my mind kind of influenced the dream to not put Biden there. But it was a feeling of a loss where he went either missing or something happened to him. I don't know. It was strange. But there was no Biden. Now, I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. If you reference my videos, you'll see um, that... I think it might have been Selection Night 2020, the name of the video, where I did explain because of the research and the experience that I've had with uh, history here um, in America, I, I didn't believe that Trump would lose this next election. I thought that, I believed that, well, I more felt that Donald Trump would spend eight years where he was. And I felt that it was a bipartisan, um, not conspiracy, but you know, conspiracy. But at the same time, I just felt like it was just a, you know a wing of the same bird, you know. And I thought they were going the same place, and it didn't really matter, you know, who did what. But I just felt like they were prompting Trump to be there for eight years, regardless of what people thought, regardless of what you know, the things that we seen in our reality, happening as a result of Trump's presidency, I just felt like uh, whatever would happen would just be to appease the people and confuse the people at the same time. So I, I just believe that, you know, this whole mask thing and um, the election and all that stuff is a joint effort to really, really confuse your mind and give you the sense of hopelessness and Joe Biden and Kamala Harris represented a a change or something different or some sort of hope for the people when when I know in my in my heart of hearts well I feel in my heart of hearts that they already had their mind made up so anyway, that was just one of the dreams. It was just like, just really Trump forward. Um, and there's other things that I have, and other dreams that make me, you know, kind of kind of really feel or, or, or consider the fact that Trump will be president still, regardless of what people think and what's going on, you know, what's giving, being dished to the public. I just, I just really believe that Trump is going to Stick around for a little while longer. Anyway, that's it. That's that part of the dream. Um, and uh, I'm going to actually post another one about another dream I had. Um, not on this video because it's too long already. So, I don't know. Take from that what you will. I just, you know, I'm not partisan all, at all, like I said. But the dream was really Trump forward and it seemed like Biden um, was missing.